We're now going to describe the role the autonomic nervous system has in um, regulating the bronchial tree in your lungs. So we'll discuss the type of neurotransmitters found in the pre- and post-ganglionic synapses for both sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and the effect that these two parts of the nervous system have on the bronchial tree. So describing innervation, autonomic innervation of the bronchial tree, we see that both the vagus nerve and the cardiosplanchnic nerves are the ones that come in control then regulation of the smooth muscle of that bronchial tree. Let's start with our sympathetic nervous system, shall we? And so there we've got this schematic again of our pre- and post-ganglionic sympathetics going to our lungs. And so starting with S-pre, which stands for sympathetic pre-ganglionic neuron, which conducts an impulse all the way down to the terminal axon, which then releases acetylcholine into synapse number one. This occurs at the T1 to T4 sympathetic ganglia. Then acetylcholine will bind to a cholinergic receptor, specifically the nicotinic receptor, and when it binds, it continues this impulse down S-post, which is our sympathetic postganglionic neuron. And there we have that impulse travels all the way down to the terminal axon and releases norepinephrine into that second synapse. And so norepinephrine is going to then bind to a beta adrenergic receptor on that smooth muscle, and there's where synapse number two occurs, and that's what results in bronchodilation. And... Um, which makes sense because if you have a fight-or-flight response, you want to increase the amount of airway that's going through. So in this case, um, it's interesting to note that, uh, th that norepinephrine is then going to relax smooth muscle to result in bronchodilation. That's its activation. Um, and so... The beta adrenergic receptor stimulation causes, in addition to bronchodilation, it also inhibits mast cells, and it also increases the cilial beat frequency to get uh, mucus out of the airways. So let's now talk about our parasympathetic nervous system. Um, and so we have that schematic again. And there's our preganglionic parasympathetic neuron, which conducts an impulse down to the terminal axon, releasing acetylcholine into that uh, first synapse. This is where those intramural ganglia occur. This is lining, this is actually in the walls of the um, smooth muscle of the gut, or just right in the line of the uh, tracheal tube and bronchial tube. And acetylcholine is going to bind to a cholinergic receptor, specifically a nicotinic receptor, which then uh, causes on this postganglionic uh, parasympathetic neuron this impulse to be conducted all the way down to the terminal axon, releasing acetylcholine into that second synapse. And acetylcholine is going to bind to a cholinergic receptor, but in the case of the lungs, it's going to bind to a muscarinic receptor, which then causes bronchoconstriction. And so specifically, cholinergic muscarinic receptor stimulation causes constriction of the smooth muscle or bronchoconstriction and increases mucus secretion.